everybody. It is Wednesday the 24th of August and um, four Canadians to go of this short Canadian run. Um, although this one is very, very loosely Canadian, which I didn't realise. And it's one from my own personal stash, which is this one, which is called Pendleton. Um, gives me an excuse to open it because I've not even got around to opening it yet. Um, I bought this when I was in Florida from the Total Wine in Orlando a few years back. Just never got around to opening it. Um, it's selling uh, on their website for $25, particularly the one at, um, that it's the one at Orlando because some of the prices are different depending on what state you're in. So you're looking at $25 for this. So um, Pendleton, um, blended Canadian whiskey. Now, I'm not sure if you can pick up the, the logo in the middle there, but it was one, I, I picked the bottle up, I think it was probably about 20 bucks, and I thought, that ah, looks all right, I'll, I'll give that a go. And just I saw the red in the middle, but didn't really look at it, and thought it was just a um, red maple leaf, with it being Canadian whiskey. So it turns out, I'm not actually sure whether you'll be able to pick this up or not, and what it says underneath. Um, but it's actually uh, a picture of a cowboy um, on a bucking bronco. And underneath it um, says, let a buck. So um, this is a Canadian whiskey, but it's distilled in Canada and then uh, shipped down to the Hood River um, Distillery, uh, the Hood River Distillers Company, which is in Hood River, Oregon. And um, this, they then uh, cut it with water from uh, Mount Hood, um, which is a, a mountain, obviously, with um, clean water there. Uh, and bottled by these guys as well. Now, Pendleton um, is a town, uh, also in Oregon, um, which hold a um, annual rodeo competition every year um, in the second full week in September. And this has been going since two, um, 2000, since 1910. So this is a really highly regarded, very old um, annual competition. Um, so this whiskey was actually created to commemorate um, the, the Pendleton Roundup, it's called, which is this rodeo festival. Um, now the whiskey itself was created in 2003, and um, it does say on the, on the front label, on this little sticker on the bottom, Pendleton, Oregon, home of one of the most respected rodeos in the country, the Pendleton Roundup. We dedicate this whiskey to the men and women of the bronc riding sport and those who love them. So everything apart from the whiskey inside pretty much screams America, um, an American tradition. And yet it's a Canadian whiskey. It's a really, really strange combination. It's, it sort of throws me. I think this is really odd. Um, there is a, a Pendleton whiskey, there's a Pendleton website. Um, and again, it, it doesn't pretend that it's not Canadian whiskey, but it doesn't, it just says it's Canadian whiskey and then goes on about uh, rodeo riding and Broncos and everything like that. Um, it's the official spirit of the professional, was it? The Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. About as American as you can get. And yet it's a Canadian whiskey. Now I don't know how much um, of a following history there is of rodeos in Canada compared to America. But as, a, as an Englishman, uh, rodeo and bucking broncos and cowboys is everything America. It's, it's American history. It's about as American as you can possibly get outside of apple pie. It's that sort of thing. So for something that's celebrating an annual rodeo um, that's been going for over 100 years and um, talking about the history and everything like that of a Amer great American tradition, for it to be Canadian whiskey is just odd. just doesn't make sense to me. I can only assume that it's it was the best deal that they could get for that whiskey. It, it must it must purely be. It's about $25. So it's not like it's an expensive whiskey, but it's not a dirt cheap one either. It's really strange. It just, to me, it would make sense for it to be uh, maybe not necessarily a bourbon, but just an American whiskey. It's, it's just, it's odd. It's really odd. Um, somebody might know out there why, why it is, what the link is between Canada and Canadian whiskey and rodeos and the Pen Pendleton Roundup because I, I can't I can't see anything of it. Um, nowhere that I could find through the websites that I was looking at were, were explaining why it's Canadian. It's a blended Canadian whiskey and it's distilled, it's shipped down to Oregon, the Hood River Distil Distilling Company um, cut it with water from Oregon um, and then and then bottle it out themselves. So there you go. In terms of the blend, in terms of the percentage, corn, rye, barley, anything like that, no idea. Because I don't know where in Canada it's made from. Possibly Hiram Walker, um, 
possibly the there's the Diageo distillery that I've just discovered. Um, so yes, I've no idea, not a clue whatsoever. Um, Diageo have the distillery in Quebec apparently. Is it Quebec or Quebec? I think it's Quebec, isn't it? So Pendleton, let's see how this is. Now it's forty percent, but it's got a nice kick to it that sort of suggests it was like 43%. It's not too spirity though. It's quite a nice heat and it's a dry spice heat to it. Picking up some rye in this, definitely. Ooh, now I wasn't expecting that because on the nose, it's quite dry. It's a dry spice, it's like um, powdered, dry, cinnamon. There's a little bit of chili powder in there. It's like a really mild paprika almost. Yeah, like a really mild paprika powder. Paprika powder. But there is a, quite a heat to it. There's a dryness to it. And I think that's that rye character. But then on the palate, There's a real sweetness to it. And it's like a, it's like a tart tatin in that it's kind of poached apple and then that caramelized, uh, the, the caramelization that you get on the top of a tart tatin. And also soft phyllo pastry. It's really quite sweet, but quite appley as well. Surprisingly so, it's nowhere near as dry. The mouth feels quite good. It's on the sweeter side but it, it, it doesn't match the nose. It really goes in a completely different direction. It's very pleasant. It's very pleasant. It's not massively complex. There's not bags of flavor on the finish. It dies off pretty quickly. It just tails off and disappears and you just left with the warmth at the back of your throat, but not much flavor. But it's not too, it's not too bad at all. I fear it might be a bit too sweet for some people. It's starting to get a little bit sickly. And I can imagine it will work better with a mixer, to be honest. It's a little bit too sweet to be drinking, Nate. I, will, I probably would get through the bottle. I think it might need chilling a bit. I think this is one where I'd need to put it uh, in the freezer and pour it from the freezer and just that temperature drop just to take that slightly, it's not quite cloying, but it's close to that sweetness that's there that's a little bit sickly. If it was a bit colder, it wouldn't quite be as claggy in my mouth. So I think at room temperature, a large glass of this neat at room temperature is just gonna be a little too heavy. Whereas I, I personally, if you've been watching my videos before, I don't put ice in it. I don't like putting ice in it because it dilutes it too much for me. Ice melts, too much water gets in there. If you want it chilled, put the bottle in the fridge, put the bottle in the freezer and pour it from there. Um, from the freezer, I think it works absolutely fantastically. And I think this really does, would need it. Um, but in a long drink, um, you know, a long whiskey and soda or something like that, actually this would work really well, particularly with something like soda. Um, because the sweetness that's in there would go with a soda quite well. So it's a decent whiskey, to be honest. It's not that bad. It's just a bit of a, like a game of two halves. On the nose, it's a different beast altogether to what's on the palate. But all in all, pretty bucking good. Sorry, that was dreadful. Right, quick rinse out, and then I'm gonna crack on with another one, which um, is a bit more of a bigger name. So we'll see how that one gets on. Cheers.